ceva. Yes, yes. În hau. Arigato. The East has brought to the West a lot of good things. Including meditation, which is very important. And um, speaking of that, we have some tests uh, done with monks who have practiced for years. Hundreds maybe thousands of hours of meditation. They have been brought to RMOIs and their brains have been thoroughly looked at. It is amazing what activity these people have, if we can call them people. I think Nietzsche would be better here and we should call them Ubermensch. Um, one funny in fact, in a way, experiment has them listening to shotgun sounds. Uh, they have brought in ordinary people, secret service men, used with them policemen, used with uh, firearms, and monks. Uh, astoundingly, the monks were those who had the least reaction to the shotgun sound. They didn't move a muscle. Policemen and secret service men who are used with these sounds, uh, couldn't help but react to that. Not panic, obviously, but uh, there are impulses which they cannot control. Monks can control it. The East emphasizes collective over individual. Individualistic society is specific to the West. For what is good, what, for what is Less so. The work ethic, we touched uh, a little on that, uh, is also has a, a very different aspect in the West and in the East. Um, in the East, I mentioned, but just briefly, that uh, people raise rice. The rice fields are the basis of the Asian Eastern culture as opposed to maize and other crops in the West. If we consider that most of the people for most of the time were involved in agriculture, this is basically our heritage. The rice field requires complete attention. In fact, there is a, a Chinese saying which goes something like this. If you rise with the sun, if you rise very early, 306 years, uh, 306 I'm sorry, days a year, you're all right. Uh, which basically means you can perhaps rest a little bit or not rise so early for only five days a year. The rest you have to be very involved. Uh, because with a little bit more water the rice crop is compromised and the same goes for a little less. So work is the basis of the Eastern uh, philosophy. You cannot survive if you do not work. This goes to explain the results which Asians have, uh, the amazing uh, places they have in Olympics, the success they have in a society like America. And also we can explain uh, perhaps the Korean, the South Korean, not the North Korean, miracle of progress. To end with a little story coming from those same parts, the story of a farmer, Chinese, perhaps we can even uh, say an Asian farmer, um, which is mentioned in psychology books, but also in Charlie Wilson's War, the story is told by Philip Simon Hoffman at the end of the movie. There is this farmer who has a horse, the horse runs away. The people from the village come to take, talk to him and express uh, uh, compassion. Oh, we're so sorry the horse went so bad. We shall see, says the farmer. Indeed, the wild horse comes back with plenty of wild horses. So the village this time is uh, happy for the farmer and uh, they say, all oh, say, oh, it's so great. We shall see. While riding one of the wild horses, the son of the farmer 
uh, breaks a leg. So it's again sadness this time. But the farmer is serene throughout. We shall see, Ying and Yang. Indeed, when the army hospitals come to the village, uh, the sun is a it escapes uh, this harsh uh, period in Chinese old days. So, it's again we should see on and on. Ying and Yang. Sayonara. Konnichiwa.